The Flash is a student forum for students produced by students. Students make all content decisions. Research, write, shoot, and broadcast. New stories they deem important to the Eastview community. Stay tuned for The Flash. Hey Eastview, I'm Kyle. And I'm Jessica. We have a great show for you today. First of all, we have a story of legacy, specifically about the youth in the basketball program. Next, we have Black Honors Association and how it has impacted the black community here at Eastview. And last but not least, let's debunk this whole snow day situation our school has been going on for the past week. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for, for The, the Flash. flash. Kyle, do you remember how last year we won the state championships for the girls basketball? Yeah, it was super epic. Ever since then, since we have so many new faces this year, do you think the new team will ever live up to that? Yeah, I'm sure the girls must be going under a lot of pressure all the time. Gabby has the inside swoosh. Ah! Dominance. Seventh straight state tournament appearance. One word that can describe the Eastview basketball program over the last couple of years. Winning two state championships in the past four years and seven straight years of top four finishes in the state tournament. So how can the younger girls of the program learn from the older girls? Just understanding the legacy and repeating what we've done every year. You know, like working hard every single day to get better and to like get to the varsity level that they need to be at to get to state. And the younger girls are stepping up to continue this legacy. One thing I've taken away during practices and games, uh, being able to come together as a team and then provide energy and pick each other up even though things might not be going the way we want them to. Some girls have even gotten the legacy passed down from their older sister. Now I'm aware of like the grind that she had to go through and the how hard she had to go in practice and be prepared for the game. But one thing that is consistent in the program is the importance of improvement. Again, trying to work together as a team and then always in practice going 100% and giving all you have. I think that every day we just need to come to practice focused and work hard and um, do the things that are controllable during games and practices. Good luck for the rest of the season, girls. Signing off the flash, this is Gabby. We all have faith in you girls. That's right, we all are rallying behind your backs. Next, we have BHA or Black Honor Association on the spotlights. Let's take a look at how this association has impacted the black community here at Eastview. Ekra has the story. She'll be graduating this year, knowing that she had left a mark here at Eastview. VHA is a new organization created this year at ECU that focuses on black students, their education, um, diversity that we bring to the school, and connecting with the least advantaged students. Um, I believe diversity is very important throughout ECU. just want to make sure that black students within ECU are able to reach out and spread their success everywhere. Rebecca. Black Honors Association was her long overdue promise. I've always, I've always, always, always wanted to be a part of a black student union. Like, I've seen it in, within other high schools that are in the cities. The community, it meant differently for different people in BHA. For Faith? So like we want sophomores and juniors and senior, even seniors that maybe don't know like what sport to do or what community service hours to do that we can help them to do them or get to the goal that they would like. So that's really important that we have a club like this. And for Bukhari, it's long overdue. I think it's long overdue that anything like this has not existed at ECU. I think it's about time that African American students or black students have a place where we can feel as one community and I think it's going to be something that's going to stay for a long time. And indeed it will. Starting from spring, BHA will be receiving applications for the following school year. Whatever. Reporting for The Flash, this is Ekra. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, the time is now. Application will be open this spring for next year admission. Please contact Becca Mulugeta, Mary Ibrahim, or Ms. Hansen for any further questions and concerns. Moving on, let's debunk this whole snow day thing that has been going on. Last week, last week was the first time I've ever had one day of school. I mean, I'm sure many of us have gotten rest and homework done, but it's just too much. Yeah, Brady has launched a full investigation into the matter, and let's take a look at some of his findings. 
Here we are outside the District 196 office, here to interview Mary Krieger, our District Superintendent, about what goes into the making of a snow day. In state law, there are a certain number of hours that districts are compelled to have students in class. We do not think we would be um, required to make up any hours at this time. But is a one-day school week even worth showing up for? I mean, one day is one day, right? Friday was a perfectly fine day to get to school. So every day counts especially for those who rely on school for more than just their education. Some of our families, they depend on school for food. They depend on school for structure. They depend on school for daycare. I mean, there's a lot of challenges when we're canceling school. On the decision whether or not to cancel school, everyone seems to have their own opinion. Parents tend to use Facebook more and students tend to use Twitter more. So that's been interesting. So next time it snows, just remember there's more to a snow day than getting out of school. Signing off for The Flash, this is Brady. If you do not hear back from the district at either 6 p.m. or 5 a.m., you are probably going to have school that day. Hey Kyle, have you seen that Jimmy Kimmel's segment on Mean Tweets? I have never actually. Well, we have a special edition on Mean Tweets here just for you, Eastview. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for, for the, the credits. credits. All right, here we go. Ready? Okay, so here are some favorites from the cold weather. Some lovely messages from the students who I love and care about to me, personally. Come on, Mary, it's way too cold out and it's snowing a lot. All I have is flip-flops to where my toes are going to fall off. And another. Could you please cancel school? Thanks. And finally, I swear if it's not canceled, I won't come anyways. Thanks, students. Glad you love school and I'm really glad you're back.